One Bath Technique Michelle will show us a remarkable 100% vegetal technique suitable for dyeing animal fibers with quinone dyes. Quinone dyes have an interesting property. They provide beautiful solid shades on wool and silk by a process called One Bath. Rubiaci provide excellent reds, as well as cochineal, polygonaceae family, like rhubarb and bitter dock, give yellows. Others contain brown antraquinones, like lapaccio tree bark. Henna and walnut, as well as older buckthorn, can also be successfully used in one bath technique. As Michelle told us, hydrolyzable tannins are co-pigments for many natural dyes. These tannins, almost colorless by themselves, gray and black with iron salts, are also remarkable co-pigments. When combined with citric acid and a quinone dye, they form a dye bath called monobath, or one bath. Michelle presents here an almost unknown and very ecological process, since everything is recycled. And he works with 100% vegetal ingredients. The method consists of combining tannin, organic acid, and a dye in the same dye bath. Important, it is only used to dye fibers of protein nature. About history. Several traditional dye practices use this process on wool. Let's mention the Scandinavian and Scottish recipes based on Roland berries, rich in tannin and citric acid, associated with madder and sorrel, or even the Amerindian, Native Americans recipes, based on sumac or dogwood leaves. Or the Asian recipes based on tamarind fruits associated with a lac insect. And of course the recipes for dyeing wool in Morocco, for carpets, based on henna, gallnut and madder. Shortly, we are not inventing anything by using the, this type of recipe. It is a question of making it simpler by proposing to use a tannin that is easy to find and an organic acid that is very common in organic stores, garden centers, etc. Citric acid. Here are some plant materials that contain hydrolyzable tannins. Water lily roots, tara, gallnuts, sumac, pomegranate, rowan, dogwood, etc. Other plants contain special tannins, the catechins, where gallic acid is associated. They are called galloylated tannins. Examples green tea, fruit of the persimmon tree, etc. All these tannins have one in common. They are very astringent. If they are combined with an acid, preferably a triacid, such as citric acid, the solution, which will be both acidic and astringent, will have properties similar to those of a solution of alum.